it's a great question. And, um, you know, people sometimes ask me if you could think of any historical, uh, you know, person from, from history or from literature who, who do you think you identify the most with? And I think they're always expecting me to say, you know, Joan of Arc or <laughs> something like that. And I, I really feel that I'm probably most like Candide in <laughs> Voltaire's comic novel. I mean, I, I'm a person who um, is almost incapable of saying no. I like to say yes <laughs> to, to everything. Um, I'm not really a very good business person. Um, uh, so um, I think that my success is, um, comes out of my tenacity and, and my hard work. I work compulsively um, when I get passionate about something. For example, the last seven years that I've spent in activism, uh, it's been 24-7 for me. I, I, I literally think about it you know, all day long. I, I'm looking for inspirations and answers and solutions all the time in everything that I do. And, and the same is so with, with my pursuit in filmmaking. The same amount of energy and drive and passion that I put into instigating this federal investigation for women directors, which has been groundbreaking, that rocked the industry, that has probably transformed culture to a certain extent, and I think will continue to do so. That amount of passion and energy I put into filmmaking too. I put that into um, every day of my life through film school from, 18, from 1989 to when I graduated in 1994, and then all the way through uh, until today, actually. I have kind of a, a lawyer's mind <laughs> um, in terms of, uh, of, of the fact that I, I think about things analytically and strategically. Um, so, so besides writing the screenplays and and being in development on many, many different projects simultaneously and being in development, you know, all the time for many years when I was represented by the William Morris Agency and other top agents. Um, and then even after, I was no longer um, represented. I continued to do that. Um, so I think that my success is based um, on my drive, not my business savvy. I would not, I do not enjoy producing at all. I like being on set. I like writing the screenplays. I like the collaborative experience with, with a crew and, and a cast. And, um, uh, you know, I love the fact that you um, come up with um, these stories and you have a vision and then you share that with other brilliant people and they elevate it and turn it into something that's much, much, much greater than that. Um, I watch movies obsessively um, and um, I'm a huge fan particularly of non-American uh, <laughs> films. Um, so, uh, I guess to answer your question, you know, what am I like? Um, I'm mostly an optimist um, who loves collaborating and, and, and creating and telling stories and, um, and you know, not, not so much, um, uh, not so inter n n never seem to be able to manage the money part of the part of it all. Never, I've never s seemed to be able to um, make a living. I've, and I think this is common with women. You know, I think women that I think that people expect in our society, in the United States particularly, women to work for free. So, uh, th I mean, this is one of the reasons that you see women direct 39 percent of documentaries. This industry, the United States entertainment media industry, is okay with women working if you work for free. And I've noticed that from women producers too, um, that they are, uh, you know, uh, not particularly uh, more respectful of, of, of the need for women to get um, financially compensated for, for the work that we do. And I think this is one of the things we really need to battle against.